Hi, this is the third video in this series for uh, Microsoft Office Mail Merge. In the first two videos, I showed how to do Mail Merge in Word 2003. In this video, I'm just going to briefly show how to do Mail Merge making envelopes and letters using Office 2007. It's also the same in the new version, Office 2010. So if you needed to look at some videos, maybe look at the previous two videos and get a sense of what uh, mail merge is and you can then look at this. So I've already started um, Office 2007 on my computer. So to start mail merge, I have to go to the mailing section. And within the mailing section, I see the option there where it says start mail merge. I click on it and then I choose letters because that is what I want to do, letters. So I click on it. Now, if you remember from the previous vi video, there are three parts to mail merge. The first part is your source of data. That is your, where is your list of people or where is the list of whatever that you want to create a mail merge for. Usually it's the list of names and addresses. So we need to figure out the first part is the source of your recipients. So right there it says select recipients. I click on it. Now in this case we do not have a list so I need to create a new list. So I say type a new list. When I do that I get this wi window. Now in this window I can customize the columns. So when I come here and right there on the bottom it says customize columns. Now up here I can remove some of the things that I don't need and I can also add new field names that I need to add. So if I don't want the address line 2, I can click on it and I can hit delete and say yes. I can even go to any of the names like zip code and I can rename it if I want. In Canada we have postal codes same thing but we just call it postal codes and I can click OK so I've renamed it I can also move up and down using the up and down button and I can add new fields if I needed it click OK now I can click in the, the title and I can fill up all the field information I'm gonna pause the, vid the video and gonna go ahead and enter for information and I'll come back So I've gone ahead and typed uh, four different names. Uh, you can keep on typing and hitting the tab key and it will keep moving and when you come to the end it will go to the next line. Or you can also new the, use the new entry button on the bottom to use it. So once you finish typing all your names and addresses, in this case I'm just going to stick with four, I click OK. So now it's asking me to save my information. So make sure that you save it in the right place, give it a proper name, and if you need to make use of the create a new folder to make sense out of it. So I'm just going to call this up here and I'm going to call it source data, just for the heck of it right now. And I hit save. So now I've finished the first file, which is the recipients list, so I'm done with that. Now this is where I can start typing my letter. So what I'll do is right on the top, I'm going to go ahead and put the address and then below that I'll write like some kind of a letter and we'll just keep it something simple. So the cursor is blinking. Now if I want to put the per title there, Mr. Mrs. and the first name, all I do is I come here into the section here called insert merge field. I click it, choose title, I put a space bar click here again first name put a space last name now I need to go to the next line to enter the company name or address so I press enter I can go back here company name enter come back here address line one enter city comma space state enter postal code. So I could do this the way I want it. 
I'm just going to press enter a few times and then if I want I can write dear insert title space and their last name enter you are just something simple for now so I've typed out my letter this is the generic letter this is uh, that the letter that is common to everybody and wherever it says title first name it will actually put in the names in there so now once I've typed it if I want to see what it will look like there is a button up here called preview results so if I click on it you will see that on the page it says Mr. John Doe and the name so now it's just giving me an indication what my information will look like when I actually merge it I can click it again on the preview results button it just goes back to showing me the title first name now the last step is to finish and merge and there's a button up there at the end I click it now I could directly go to print however it's better to go to edit individual documents I click it it is asking me do you want all the records if you had say a thousand record and if you just want it from 1 to 500 so you could just say from 1 to 500 in that box I'm gonna click OK now I will have four letters here with individual names so let's scroll down and that's the first John Doe here's the second Lisa Jones here's the third Nita Nair here's the fourth so this is my final letter this is what I will print when I need to and I can send it out to people so this was mail merge in office 2007 now I'll show you how to use your existing list that you created and how you can do envelopes using office 2007 in mail merge so let's look at how to create envelopes using mail merge and using an existing list that you already have there is a good chance that if you're working in any office or any environment in any environment you'll find that they already have typed up the list of the customers or whatever it is so again if you want to start mail merge you go to the mailing section and up here you click on start mail merge and we need to do envelopes so I can click on that and right there it's asking you for some envelope options so you can choose the size of the envelope there are different sizes you can pick and there are some other options for fonts that you can use usually you'll keep it default and you can just click OK now this is what your envelope looks like now we need to select the recipients like we need to tell it what is our source data which varies our list of names and addresses so I just come here for the select recipients and I say use existing list and then I browse to where the file is in this case I've got my file here called source data I can click it and click open so it's accepted it if I wanted to make any changes or look at something I can click on the edit recipient list up here and it shows me the four people's name that I had typed earlier if I wanted to edit it I could just click here on the bottom and I can click the edit button I can just click OK to that now on the left hand corner that's where we put our name so if I want I can just go ahead and put my name and address I can just put my address exactly the way it is so that it shows up automatically on all of them now if I take my mouse and I click in the section where I'm supposed to type the receivers address so I click come here in the somewhere and click it and I see a box so and now I've got the blinking line in the section where I need to put the the senders the receivers address now again I just go into the merge field and I can click say first name space last name enter put the address it's up to you if you want to put the company name city comma space state enter postal code now again I've 
typed e everything exactly where it needs to be I can click on the preview results now it shows me John Doe right there so what it will look like I can click it again now I need to just click on finish and merge and I can choose edit individual documents and it says do you want to merge all I can say yes all now I should have four different envelopes this is my first one John Doe this is my second one Lisa Jones and then the third one Nita fourth one Anthony so this is again mail merge using office 2007 and if you had some more questions and needed to get some more explanation you can watch the previous two videos you can see the links on the bottom in the description section to get more detail about mail merge and how to do that in office 2003 and then you can have a look at this video to get a good sense of how to do it in office 2007 thank you for watching this is Amir from simpletech.ca